Hello everyone, this is going to be a in-depth review and comparison of the white Echo Control Plus and the, uh, the black version. So yeah, I'm um, first going to talk a little bit about um, the shipping process, the buying process and, and the packaging. The packaging is, is a little bit amusing, it's very uh, generic, you can kind of look at the font and laugh at it, it's very Chinese, it's um, there's some poor decisions like this one if you if you turn it here like it's um, purple font on purple background so you really can't read anything um, this is the other packaging that the black one came in this is the packaging for the white one it's it's much better you can actually read the text but there's still some spelling mistakes where is it up here it's nice 2003 and yeah, you can just like look at this and look at the set font and kind of laugh at it. Yeah, but very, very, very normal Chinese company kind of stuff. Very generic. Um, you know, I, I think they could actually, this could look really nice because the, the printing is actually kind of uh, sharp and and it feels actually quite nice, uh, the cardboard itself. So I think they could do a really good job of the packaging if they actually cared about it or if they spoke in English. But yeah, um, the pads on the other hand, the, the pads I really, really like. And um, the, the payment and shipping process on the website, here's, here's the pad. This is the one that you want. This is the uncoded version. You can choose it um, in black and white. Very normal stuff. There's kind, of a, um, there's kind of a comparison here where it says the black is the rougher control version, white is the smoother micro control version, which is... Those are kind of not not words, so you know if you just read that, you don't know what it means. So this is kind of what what the review here is for. Um, the pads are really 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 great value. The black one, um, I paid for the super fast shipping, the premium shipping, and I think it's like ten ten dollars more depends on where you live. Um, and it came in a little bit more than a week, maybe nine days. I was really happy with it, um, especially because they they labeled it. Um, for um, for customs so that it's it came really really quickly and it just passed through customs seamlessly for the white one I didn't want to spend uh, on the premium shipping because I was just kind of curious what the difference is between the white one and the black one so I, I went with the with the normal shipping and the normal shipping is much cheaper uh, I play I paid 40 euros total for for the black one and 35 euros total for the white one, which is in, in this extra large size. So both are great value, even even with the premium shipping. But the normal shipping, it only took like 14, maybe 20 days to Austria, which which is really impressive. So uh, I don't think I'll, I'll ever pay for the, the premium shipping again. It's it's a very reasonable amount of time, very, very reasonable price, uh, really great value. Um, the build quality, it feels really substantial. On the website, it says it's three millimeters. Uh, it feels a lot thicker and more substantial than, than a lot of other pads that claim to be three millimeters thick. The stitched edging looks like it's very durable, but unfortunately, it's it's extremely raised. So if you get towards the edge, then it's very noticeable. On my black one, the, the main one that I use, uh, I kind of draped the edges uh, over over the edge of my table so that I can actually move my mouse until until the sensor doesn't track it's something I like to do especially on the right side and at the bottom oops at the, at the bottom and yeah that's kind of a workaround but it's not like artisan quality or, or other um, high quality I think it's just artisan that that has the stitched edges figured out in a way that they they don't really interfere with mouse movements so yeah let's let's get into the the meat of it um, uh, oh yeah, and also in terms of durability, uh, I already washed uh, the black one. The one was really easy, really did return the out-of-box glide. Um, yeah, so I, I have actually no durability concerns for either of these. I expect them to last, you know, maybe maybe two or three years or something like this. They, they do feel like uh, they would last a long time. But, you know, you never know. You never know. Um, maybe I'll, I'll do an update if, if there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, the, the two, um, oh yeah, so on the website it says one is the micro control version, one is the control version, which doesn't mean anything. Um, 
I mean, it does say this: the the, the black one is rougher and the white one is softer, which means since it's softer, there's more surface, which also means there's going to be more friction, so it's slower. And and that's what it is. So the white one is slower, the the black one is faster, quite noticeably faster. And the micro corrections and the the static friction on both of these are really really fast, really fast and effortless. Uh, a little bit uh, slower maybe on the white, but I couldn't be able to tell you for sure. They're really com comparable. The the big difference between the two is when you do these larger motions, uh, that's where the, the white one really uh, grips into the mouse and kind of guides your movement. So if you're doing like uh, more flick intensive games, uh, once, you're, um, once you're going, then it kind of... Um, grips your mouse and it keeps you on track and helps you have these straight lines for the fast flicks um, which is something that I don't personally appreciate so much because while it might be a little bit of a, a benefit in games like CSGO and Valorant where it's more click timing and flick intensive uh, if you play more tracking intensive games like like me um, then having the higher dynamic friction uh, makes it kind of more jarring um, changing from these fast strafes to the long strafes, particularly from long strafes to, to fast strafe tracking. Um, so yeah, the, the black one is for me, it's uh, quite a lot faster than than a lot of the pads in kind of the, the medium kind of friction category. The white one to me is kind of just an upgraded version of a lot of the, the standard mouse pads. That you might be able to buy on Amazon, like the medium friction ones, like a um, uh, where is it? The the Razer Gigantis V2 I have here. Um, it's, it's this one is more on the on the slower end of things. Um, the static friction is surprisingly low on it, um, but the dynamic friction is extremely high. Uh, yeah, which was I I think it's a super super cheap and solid pad, but I, I feel like the the white Echo Control Plus just edges it out. Um, particularly the static friction makes a huge difference. Um, oh yeah, in terms of softness and, and roughness, um, the white one is much softer and, and softer on your hands. The black one maybe you can you can actually hear the difference. The black one is much rougher, but not as rough as something like a Cordura pad. Here I have an Cooler Master. MP510, those are actually really rough on your skin, and I kind of need to wear a sleeve with it. With the with the black Aqua Control Plus, I don't need to wear a sleeve. I kind of got used to it after a day or two. Uh, the white one too. Actually, I, I need to wear a sleeve with the white one because um, it's got this cloth pad property uh, where like your wrist kind of sticks to it, um, which which is. Also a nice thing if you're if you're playing like more flick intensive games because once you're finished the flick, your wrist will be planted a little bit more and you uh, you can just worry about like the the micro correction part of it. But if you're doing something more tracking intensive, you're doing like fast tracking, you want to transition from fast tracks to to a, a long strafe or something, right? So you you're tracking their fast strafes and then you transition to a long strafe. Um, you don't want your wrist to be overly planted because what will happen is you know you'll just kind of turn your wrist like this and then you run out of wrist space and then you die. So yeah, um, th that's why I prefer the the faster black version, but um, the the white version is is really to me just a replacement for a lot of these like mid range pads that you would get on Amazon like a. Logitech G640 I think is extremely similar to a Logitech G640. To me, it's just like a more durable version of a Logitech G640, which is great because the Logitech G640 is like the least durable mouse pad that I've ever used. Like after a month, I could notice some inconsistencies in the glide. Um, then the, it's also very similar to the MP510, I feel like, in terms of glide. Again, lower static friction, which is just... A big plus to me in general, um, and it doesn't have the super rough surface. So I, I feel like to a lot of people this could be just a fantastic upgrade. It's super cheap. Just like buy buy a reasonable size, and it will cost like thirty forty dollars. It's yeah, fantastic value. I like both of them. I prefer I prefer the black one, which is a bit faster than all the pads that I mentioned before. It's I feel like it's a tier faster, and yeah. It's basically all I have to say about it. Um, both of them feel like they would last a long time. Both of them are a great value. I like both of them a lot. I prefer the black one. And yeah, that's basically it. You can kind of make up your own mind. 
Alright, thanks everyone for watching.